Leaf City. This is an illustrated example showing how pre-existing organic infrastructure can be applied to contemporary city planning to produce a model that is not only superior in overall design, but allows for critical insight into solving future problems. What is a city besides an elaborate and often dysfunctional circulatory system? Energy is absorbed, transformed, and transported. Leaves are optimized for solar energy. Predominantly flat, wide, and possessing limited reflexive mobility that allows them to maximize their exposure and absorption. An essential property here is parallelism using many low-powered, low-cost modules to outperform a small number of high-power, high-cost modules. The key thing to notice is the holistic nature of the design. Energy production is distributed rather than centralized. This is not just convenient, but actually critical to the functionality of the entire structure. Fractals also illustrate this principle of scale. Self-sufficient modules or themes are repeated throughout the spectrum. Larger structures contain or are comp comprised of smaller permutations of the whole. <clears throat> this creates strength, durability, adaptability, and allows microcosmic models to compete in a complementary rather than destructive way while maintaining overall design integrity. The true genius of this system is that it allows the holistic model to gradually improve without requiring a complete and arbitrary redesign. Looking at the overall structure, it is disproportionately two-dimensional. While the stem and circulatory channels are mostly cylindrical for load-bearing reasons, they clearly avoid entering an extensive three-dimensional footprint, probably because of gravity and the linear nature of visible radiation. This rule of thumb also applies to man-made structures. The most interesting thing to note here is how leaves utilize semi-transparency and flexibility of layering for effectively multiplying their surface area. <clears throat> Semi-chaotic patterns often perform better than strictly ordered ones i.e. nanofilaments used for energy absorption. They've um, discovered this through experimentation that um, chaotic forms can actually absorb more um, energy than highly ordered forms. Um, this makes sense given that there are no perfect circles or straight lines in nature. Likewise, there are no perfect trajectories or relationships between quantum fields. However, the best model is one that contains a hybrid approach, specifically a balance between highly ordered elements and chaotic aspects. Both are essential to the overall design because in an ever-changing environment, a static organism is a dead organism. The process that we call evolution has already solved most of these circulatory problems in all observable instances creating superior models far more efficient and pragmatic than our specialized industrial versions. Although taking this to the next level of speculation assuming that these organisms were left unmolested to grow and adapt over many billions of years there's no guarantee that they would form structures capable of surviving a supernova. Still, I think for the time being they provide a great deal of insight into infrastructure design and could be utilized for our benefit.
thanks for watching.